In an industry filled with glitz and glamour, the actress, known for her radiant smile and captivating performances, made a name for herself. Born on October 13, 1962, in Honolulu, Hawaii, she embarked on a journey that would lead her to become a household name. After moving to Los Angeles as a teenager to pursue acting, she landed her first role in 1985's Mischief. From there, she appeared in numerous films throughout the 80s and 90s, including Twins, Jerry Maguire, and For Love of the Game. In addition to her work in film, the actress also made appearances on popular television shows such as Medium and CSI Cyber. Her talent and dedication to her craft earned her a loyal fan base and critical acclaim. Despite facing personal tragedies, including the loss of her son in 2009, the actress continued to work in the industry she loved. She will always be remembered for her contributions to the world of entertainment and the joy she brought to audiences around the world. Actress Kelly Preston has been a familiar face in the film industry for decades. You might remember her from movies like Jerry Maguire or Twins. Perhaps you've seen her on TV shows like Medium or CSI Cyber. Do you have a favorite performance of hers that holds a special place in your heart? Was it her role as the devoted wife in Jerry Maguire or her portrayal of the tough as Nails Detective in CSI Cyber? We'd love to hear about it in the comments below. When did you first become aware of Kelly Preston's work? Was it in a movie, a TV show, or perhaps even in a commercial? Take a moment to reflect on your own personal experience with her career. And while you're thinking about your own memories, we got some fascinating facts coming up about this classic star. From funny anecdotes to surprising revelations, there's plenty to discover about Kelly Preston. So keep watching to learn more. Born on October 13, 1962, in Honolulu, Hawaii, the actress had a multicultural upbringing. Her father was an American soldier, and her mother worked as an administrator in a healthcare facility. The family moved around a lot due to her father's job, which led her to spend her formative years in different parts of the world, including Australia and Iraq. This early exposure to various cultures and environments shaped her worldview and influenced her acting career. The actress's interest in acting began at a young age. She took drama classes in high school and appeared in several school productions. Her natural talent and passion for acting were evident even then, and she received encouragement from her teachers and peers. After high school, she pursued acting professionally and moved to Los Angeles to study at the University of Southern California. During her time at USC, the actress studied theater and appeared in several student films. She also began auditioning for roles in television shows and movies. Her early career was marked by guest appearances in popular TV shows such as Chips and Capital. She also appeared in several films, including Mischief and 52 Pickup. One of the actress's earliest mentors was veteran actor and director Peter Fonda. She worked with him on the film Random Hearts and credits him with teaching her valuable lessons about the craft of acting. She has also spoken about her admiration for actresses such as Meryl Streep and Judi Dench, citing their versatility and dedication to their craft as sources of inspiration. In addition to her work in film and television, the actress has also appeared on stage. She made her Broadway debut in the play The Ritz in 27 and has since appeared in several other stage productions. Her experience on stage has further honed her acting skills and given her a deeper appreciation for the art of live performance. Throughout her career, the actress has remained committed to her craft and has continued to take on challenging roles in a variety of genres. Her early experiences and influences have shaped her into the accomplished actress she is today and she continues to inspire and captivate audiences with her talent and dedication. The actress, known for her work in both film and television, began her career in the late 1970s. She appeared in various TV shows, including Hawaii Five-0 and Quincy, Maine in 1985. She made her film debut in Mischief. Throughout her career, she has worked with many notable actors and directors. In 1991, she starred alongside Tom Cruise and Jerry Maguire, a film that earned over $273 million at the box office. She played the role of Jerry's love interest, Dorothy Boyd. In 1996, she appeared in Twins with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito. The film was a commercial success, grossing over $216 million worldwide. One of her most memorable roles was in For Love of the Game in 1999, where she played the love interest of Kevin Costner's character, Billy Chappell. 
The film was well received by audiences and critics alike. In 2003, she starred in What a Girl Wants with Amanda Bynes. The film was a commercial success and is a must watch for fans of romantic comedies. For those new to her work, Jerry Maguire and Twins are great starting points. Jerry Maguire showcases her ability to play a strong, independent woman, while Twins highlights her comedic timing. In conclusion, the actress has had a successful career in both film and television with many memorable roles. Her work has resonated with audiences and has left a lasting impact in the world of cinema. From a young age, the actress was captivated by the magic of storytelling through film and television. Growing up in Hawaii, she would often put on shows for her family and friends using props and costumes to bring her characters to life. This early exposure to performance ignited a spark in her, fueling a passion that would lead her to pursue a career in acting. During her high school years, the actress became even more serious about her craft. She participated in school plays and local theater productions, honing her skills and developing her unique style. Her talent and dedication did not go unnoticed, and she soon caught the attention of agents and casting directors. One pivotal moment in the actress's journey came when she was cast in her first major film role. The experience of working on a professional film set was both exhilarating and challenging, but it only served to deepen her love for acting. She thrived in the creative environment, feeding off the energy of her fellow actors and the crew. From that point on, the actress dedicated herself to perfecting her craft, constantly seeking out new challenges and opportunities to grow as an artist. Over the years, she has appeared in numerous films and television shows, each one adding to her rich and diverse body of work. Through it all, the actress has remained true to her passion for storytelling and her commitment to her craft. With each new role, she continues to inspire and captivate audiences around the world, leaving a lasting impact on the world of entertainment. The actress, known for her work in film and television, passed away on July 12, 2020, just a few months shy of her 58th birthday. She was subsequently cremated and her ashes were returned to her family. Prior to her passing, the actress had studied drama at both the University of Southern California and the University of California. The actress married her husband, also an accomplished actor, in two separate ceremonies held one week apart in 1991. The first ceremony, officiated by a French Scientologist minister, was later found to be unofficial. The second official ceremony was conducted on September 12th of that same year. The couple had first met in 1987. In summary, the actress had a successful career in the entertainment industry and was married to her husband in two separate ceremonies in 1991. She passed away in 2020 and was cremated with her ashes returned to her family. The actress had also pursued formal education in drama at the University of Southern California and the University of California. Early in the actress's career, she faced significant financial struggles. To make ends meet, she worked various jobs, including a stint as a waitress and a gig as a aerobics instructor. Despite these challenges, she never lost sight of her dream to become an actress. The actress also encountered skepticism from industry insiders who doubted her talent and potential. However, she refused to let their doubts deter her. Instead, she used them as motivation to work even harder and prove her worth. To overcome these obstacles, the actress turned to creative solutions. She took acting classes and worked tirelessly to hone her craft. She also networked extensively, attending industry events and building relationships with influential people in the business. One of the actress's biggest breaks came when she landed a role in a popular TV show. This opportunity gave her the visibility and credibility she needed to attract more high profile roles. From there, she continued to build her career, taking on challenging and diverse roles that showcased her talent and versatility. Despite facing numerous obstacles along the way, the actress remained resilient and determined. Her perseverance and hard work ultimately paid off, leading to a successful and fulfilling career in the entertainment industry. In 2004, the actress took on the role of a lovelorn socialite in the music video, She Will Be Loved by Maroon 5. Two years prior, she had starred as Avery Bishop in Jerry Maguire, opposite Tom Cruise, who won the Golden Globe for his performance. Interestingly, it was John Travolta, the actress's husband and fellow Scientologist, who presented Cruz with the award. Delving deeper into her personal life, 
the actress has a half-sister named Chris Balsies. While her film and television roles have been significant, it's important to note that her family ties also play a meaningful role in her life. In 1985, the actress caught the eye of audiences with her role in Mischief, a coming-of-age comedy that marked a significant breakthrough in her career. Critics praise her performance, highlighting her ability to bring depth and authenticity to her character. A few years later, in 1988, she starred in Twins alongside Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito. The film became a box office hit and established the actress as a bankable star in Hollywood. Her chemistry with her co-stars was widely recognized, with critics noting her comedic timing and charisma. In 1996, the actress delivered a standout performance in Jerry Maguire, which earned her critical acclaim and further solidified her status as a talented actress. Her portrayal of a devoted wife and mother resonated with audiences and critics alike, with many praising her ability to convey emotion and depth on screen. In 2003, she took on a more dramatic role in the film What a Girl Wants, which showcased her versatility as an actress. Critics and audiences alike were impressed by her ability to handle both comedic and dramatic material with equal skill. Throughout her career, the actress has continued to challenge herself and take on diverse roles, earning her a reputation as a talented and dedicated performer. Her contributions to the world of film and television have left a lasting impact, and she is remembered for her captivating performances and enduring charm. After appearing in the film Pulp Fiction, Actress Kelly Preston met director Quentin Tarantino, which led to her role in From Dust Till Dawn as newscaster Kelly Hodge. In this movie, she delivers a noteworthy performance despite her limited screen time. In her personal life, Preston's son, Jet, was diagnosed with Kawasaki Syndrome, which caused severe allergies and asthma attacks. In response, Preston became an advocate for the Children's Health Environmental Coalition, raising awareness about environmental toxins that can affect children's health. Preston's dedication to this cause, along with her efforts to educate parents, is commendable. Interestingly, both Preston and her husband, John Travolta, have starred in movies based on Stephen King novels, where the title of each was a girl's name that began with the letter C. Preston starred in Christine, while Travolta starred in Carrie. This coincidence showcases the couple's diverse acting abilities and their contributions to the horror and thriller genres. In summary, Preston's acting career and advocacy work demonstrate her commitment to making a positive impact in the world. Her dedication to her family and her passion for environmental health are just a few examples of her many admirable qualities. The actress, known for her work in both film and television, has a unique approach to her craft. She values the importance of preparation and research, often immersing herself in the world of the characters she is set to play. This includes studying their background, motivations, and even learning new skills to accurately portray the role. In the film, The Cat in the Hat, for example, the actress learned how to juggle to accurately portray her character's playful and energetic personality. This dedication to her craft allows her to fully embody each character she plays, making them feel authentic and relatable to audiences. Her artistic vision is also heavily influenced by her personal experiences and worldview. She draws inspiration from her own life and the people she meets, incorporating their stories and emotions into her work. This can be seen in her portrayal of roles that are complex and multidimensional, reflecting the complexity of real-life individuals. The actress also values collaboration and often works closely with directors, writers, and other actors to bring a project to life. She understands that filmmaking is a collective effort and is always open to new ideas and perspectives. This collaborative spirit allows her to bring out the best in her co-workers and create a positive and productive work environment. In addition to her acting work, the actress is also a dedicated advocate for various causes, using her platform to raise awareness and funds for important social issues. She believes that art and activism go hand in hand and is committed to making a positive impact on the world through her work. In conclusion, the actress's unique approach to her craft her dedication to preparation and research, and her commitment to collaboration and activism make her a truly exceptional artist. Her work is a reflection of her personal experiences and worldview, and she continues to inspire and captivate audiences with her authentic and powerful performances. After the actress's role in Amazon Women on the Moon, 
She became the sister-in-law of Joey Travolta when she married his brother, John Travolta, in 1991. Born to Linda Camilleria Carlson and Kenneth Michael Smith, the actress's biological father died when she was four years old. She was raised by her stepfathers, Peter Palzies and Lee Carlson. In addition to her acting career, the actress played a part in George Clooney's life by giving him a pet pig named Max, who lived with Clooney for 18 years before passing away in December 2006. The actress's impact extended beyond her roles and personal life, leaving a mark in various aspects of the entertainment industry. The actress Kelly Preston left an indelible mark on the film industry, known for her diverse range of roles and her ability to bring depth and nuance to every character she played. With a career spanning over three decades, she contributed significantly to both television and film. In the 80s, Preston gained recognition for her roles in comedic films like Christine and Space Camp. She continued to make her mark in the 90s with roles in Twins and Jerry Maguire, where she showcased her comedic timing and versatility. In the early 2000s, she transitioned to more dramatic roles, including in the film The Cat in the Hat and the television show Medium. Preston's impact on the industry is evident in the way she inspired other actors and filmmakers. As director Gary Marshall once said, Kelly has a unique ability to bring warmth and humanity to every character she plays. She's a true professional and a joy to work with. Moreover, Preston was known for her dedication to her craft and her commitment to using her platform for good. She was an advocate for various charitable causes, including the fight against breast cancer. In terms of technique, Preston was known for her ability to fully embody her characters, making them feel real and relatable to audiences. As actress Kirstie Alley said, Kelly has a rare gift for making you believe she's the character she's playing. She's a true artist, and I feel lucky to have worked with her. In conclusion, Kelly Preston's contribution to the film industry is undeniable. Her versatility, dedication, and impact on both her peers and audiences will continue to be felt for years to come. After giving birth to her son Benjamin Hunter Kelio Travolta on November 23, 2010, three days earlier than expected, the actress returned to work eight months later to begin filming View from the Top. Prior to that, she had her first child with husband John Travolta, son Jet Travolta, who was born on April 13, 1992. Sadly, Jet passed away on January 2, 2009, due to a seizure caused by Kawasaki Syndrome. It was reported that he hit his head in the family's bathtub in their home in the Bahamas. Two years and five months after giving birth to Benjamin, the actress returned to work once again to begin filming Adopted. Her dedication to her craft and resilience in the face of personal tragedy is a testament to her professionalism and commitment to her career. The actress Kelly Preston, known for her work in films like Jerry Maguire and Twins, values her family deeply. She has been married to actor John Travolta since 1991, and they have three children together. Preston has often spoken about the importance of her family in her life and how they come first above all else. In addition to her love for her family, Preston is also passionate about several philanthropic causes. She has worked with the American Cancer Society and has been a vocal advocate for breast cancer awareness. Preston has also been involved with the UNICEF and has traveled to several countries as an advocate for children's rights. Preston's personal values and interests often inform her work as an actress. She has said that she is drawn to roles that allow her to explore different aspects of humanity and to tell stories that have a positive impact on audiences. In particular, Preston has spoken about the importance of portraying strong, complex female characters on screen. One of Preston's most memorable roles was in the film What a Girl Wants, in which she played the free-spirited mother of the main character. The film explores themes of self-discovery and empowerment, and Preston's character is a positive force in her daughter's life. Preston has said that she was drawn to the role because it allowed her to play a character who is both strong and nurturing, and who encourages her daughter to be true to herself. In addition to her work in film, Preston has also appeared on several television shows, including Medium and CSI Cyber. She has said that she enjoys the challenge of working in different mediums, and that she is always looking for new opportunities to grow as an actress. Overall, Preston is a talented actress who is deeply committed to her family and to making a positive impact in the world. Her personal values and interests inform her work, 
and she is passionate about telling stories that inspire and empower audiences. Whether on the big screen or the small screen, Preston continues to be a force to be reckoned with in the entertainment industry. After graduating from Punahou School in Honolulu, Hawaii, the actress attended Pembroke School in Adelaide, South Australia. She and her husband, John Travolta, were members of the Church of Scientology and had been trying for a baby for three years before conceiving their son, Benjamin. The joy of parenthood was a significant milestone in their lives and their dedication to their family was well known. The actress's background and personal life were not without challenges, but her resilience and commitment to her career and family were always evident. The late actress Kelly Preston left an enduring mark on the film industry with her diverse range of roles and undeniable talent. Throughout her career, she graced both the big and small screens, captivating audiences with her warmth and grace. In Jerry Maguire, Preston Sean is the loving and supportive wife of Tom Cruise's character, demonstrating the power of loyalty and love in the face of adversity. In Twins, she showcased her comedic chops alongside Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito. And in The Cat in the Hat, she brought to life the children's book character of Sally O'Malley with charm and whimsy. Preston's legacy is not only in the characters she brought to life, but also in the inspiration she provided to aspiring actors. Her advice to those looking to break into the industry is to stay true to oneself and never give up. Always be authentic and believe in yourself. She once said, the road may be long and challenging, but if you have passion and persistence, you can achieve your dreams. As for the future of the film industry, Preston believed in its power to bring people together and inspire change. Film has the ability to transport us to new worlds, challenge our perspectives, and unite us in a shared experience, she said. I hope that future filmmakers continue to push boundaries and create meaningful and impactful work. In summary, Preston's legacy is one of authenticity, talent, and inspiration. Her advice to aspiring actors is to stay true to oneself and never give up. And her hope for the future of the film industry is that it continues to push boundaries and create meaningful work. In the film Twins, the actress played the role of Marnie Mason. Interestingly, her future husband, John Travolta, would later work with Danny DeVito in Look Who's Talking Now and Get Shorty. DeVito's production company, Jersey Films, even produced the critically acclaimed movie Pulp Fiction. The actress was in a relationship with Charlie Sheen from 1989 to 1990. Unfortunately, she was accidentally shot in their apartment in 1990. In Christine, the actress portrayed Roseanne, who enjoys watching Grease in the cinema, even though her companion doesn't share her enthusiasm. The actress's real-life husband, John Travolta, later became famous for his role in Grease. The actress, known for her radiant screen presence, began her journey in the 1980s. With a string of roles in films like Mischief and Space Camp, she quickly made her mark in Hollywood. In the 90s, she continued to shine, appearing in box office hits such as Twins and Jerry Maguire. Throughout her career, the actress demonstrated her passion for storytelling and innovation. She chose roles that challenged her and captured audiences' hearts. Her work in both comedy and drama showcased her versatility and adaptability as an artist. In the early 2000s, the actress took on a new challenge, joining the cast of the hit television series Joey. Her portrayal of a successful businesswoman added depth and complexity to the show's narrative. The actress's impact on the entertainment industry is undeniable. She leaves behind a legacy of memorable performances and a testament to the power of creativity and perseverance. Her work continues to resonate with audiences, inspiring new generations of artists to pursue their passions. Indeed, the actress's journey serves as a reminder that with hard work and dedication, one can achieve their dreams. Her enduring impact on the entertainment industry is a tribute to the power of creativity and the human spirit. At the glamorous wedding ceremony of Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes in Italy, the actress was among the guests. She shared the screen with Anne Margaret in three films, including 52 Pickup and Old Dogs. In the film Twin, she played Marnie Mason, while Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito portrayed Julius and Vincent, respectively. Interestingly, in Quentin Tarantino's Pulp Fiction, Samuel L. Jackson and John Travolta played Jules and Vincent, with Danny DeVito serving as executive producer. The actress is married to John Travolta. Following her role as Marilyn in Mischief, actress appeared in her first nude scene. 
She didn't mind bearing it all, as the scene aimed for comedy. Later, she welcomed her second child with John Travolta, a daughter named Ella Blue Travolta, on April 3rd, 2000. Weighing in at nine pounds, Ella Blue's birth brought joy to the family. Actress's full frontal nude scene in Mischief earned recognition, ranking number 11 on Flashback's top 20 gratuitous nude scenes of the 1980s in July 2014. After beginning her acting career under the name Kelly Palsies, the actress adopted her stepfather's surname. In the film Mischief, she played the role of Marilyn, and her co-star Doug McKeon, who was only 18 during filming, later joked that if he hadn't turned 18, seeing Kelly naked would have turned him into a man pretty fast. The actress has a diverse heritage, including English, Irish, German, Scottish, Scots-Irish, and Hawaiian ancestry. Her Hawaiian roots come from her maternal grandmother, Lucille Ackerman, who was of about 3 16 Hawaiian descent. In the film From Dusk Till Dawn, the actress portrayed newscaster Kelly Houch. During a newscast about the Gecko Brothers' crime spree, viewers see her interviewing an FBI agent, played by John Saxon. Both the actress and Saxon passed away in July 2020, just two weeks apart. In Jerry Maguire, the actress took on the role of Avery Bishop. To prepare, she practiced her punches with legendary boxer Ray Boom Boom Mancini. The actress's performance as Marilyn in Mischief is also noteworthy. In this film, Julie Noble, who plays Marilyn's mother, Mistress Macaulay, is only one month older than the actress. In the film Amazon Women on the Moon, the actress played the role of Violet in the segment Titan Man. Interestingly, during the production of this film, she also appeared in two teen sex comedies released in 1985, Secret Admirer and Mischief. Her performance in Titan Man isn't too different from the roles she had in those films. The middle name of the actress, Kemal Lehua, has a beautiful meaning in Hawaiian Garden of Lehuas. It is a reference to the Ohia Lehua, a Hawaiian flower. Moreover, in the comedy drama movie What a Girl Wants, the actress showcased her singing talents, performing most of the songs herself. In 1989, the actress received a 2.5 karat pink diamond engagement ring from Charlie Sheen, although they never married. She was born and raised in Hawaii, with the exception of 15 months spent in Iraq at the age of five, where her stepfather was working to improve farming conditions with the Ministry of Agriculture. After her mother's marriage breakup, she lived in South Australia for two years as a teenager, attending Pembroke College. In a trial related to the death of their son, Jet, the actress and her husband, John Travolta, confirmed long-standing speculations in 29. Their son had autism and suffered from regular seizures. This revelation came during their testimony, which shed light on their family's personal struggles. The actress's career has spanned various films and shows, and she has been a prominent figure in the industry. Despite the challenges she has faced, she has continued to be a significant presence in the world of entertainment. After the birth of the actress's son, Benjamin, the first celebrity friend to visit was Kirstie Alley, who had been taking care of the actress's daughter, Ella Blue Travolta. The start of the actress's career began when she was discovered by a fashion photographer at the age of 15. He helped her find work in the advertising industry and even arranged an audition for the role of Emmeline Lestrange in The Blue Lagoon. However, she did not get the part as studio executives found her too sultry. The role eventually went to Brooke Shields. In 2020, the acting world suffered a great loss with the passing of the actress, Kelly Preston, at the age of 57 following a two-year battle with breast cancer. She had kept her diagnosis private, and her death came as a shock to many. Preston was born on October 13, 1962, in Honolulu, Hawaii, and had a successful career spanning over three decades. She appeared in numerous films and television shows, including Jerry Maguire, Twins, and The Cat in the Hat. In addition to her work in entertainment, Preston was also a devoted wife and mother. She married actor John Travolta in 1991, and the couple had three children together. Preston was known for being a dedicated advocate for her family and often spoke publicly about her love and support for them. Despite her tragic passing, Preston's legacy lives on through her work and the memories she created with her loved ones. Her contributions to the acting world will continue to be celebrated and remembered for years to come. As we remember the actress, many of us recall her unforgettable performances that brought joy and entertainment to our lives. From her early roles in films like Mischief and Space Camp to her more recent work in Jerry Maguire and The Cat in the Hat, 
She demonstrated her wide range and talent. The actress also starred in several TV shows, including For the People and Medium, showcasing her versatility and adaptability in different mediums. Her work left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry and will continue to be celebrated. Let's take a moment to share our favorite memories and performances of the actress in the comments below. What was your favorite role of hers and how did it resonate with you? Let's celebrate her legacy together and keep her spirit alive through our conversations and shared memories. Don't forget to like it and share this post to continue the conversation and discover more content celebrating the creative spirits shaping entertainment. Your support helps us to keep creating and sharing the stories that matter to